sometime last week maybe. And you know how they do the memories. Yeah. They, your memories would pop up. And it was the brotherly love video. Yeah. And I just posted a screenshot. Yo, that shit had 19 likes and like seven comments. And it was new video coming at eight. And I was just looking at this picture. I'm like, yo, I even me, yo, niggas don't even know what this is about to do. <laughs> when I hit when I hit the button at eight o'clock, yo, niggas really don't know what this shit is about to do. What's up, y'all, man? Hey, man, it's your boy Quizzy, man, coming back to y'all with another video. I'm gonna keep this real simple. Just wanna let y'all know a few things before y'all get started with the video. If you're new here, go on ahead, hit that like button, go down, hit the subscribe button, man. We're a family over here. I love to have more of you guys over here. Also, go down and support my boy, Hot Damn I Rock. His link is gonna be down below, okay? Just to let y'all know, I'm editing the video now. What happened when my camera had a glitch and it cut off? Not on his part but just on my part i right? haven't like gone here like right now like do, do it right now do it right yo all right there we go <laughs> oh man bro you you don't even fucking know bro like gee i don't even know what to say like you know i'm, I'm starstruck that's what they call it <laughs> don't be yo <laughs> bro i man I, I i was i've been trying to rack my brain to come up with like like things to ask you or stuff to say and shit like that, but you don't, you just don't even know, bro. Like I have so much to say to you, bro, that it just I don't even know where to begin. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm Quizzy, man. Nice to meet you, bro. Nice to meet you, man. Just pick a spot. Just like you throwing the dart at a board, you know, wherever the dart land, you know, just pick a spot. I've been I I I have to start off by saying, bro, like I've been bragging about just this conversation like nigga like i was meeting jesus and shit like for the first fucking time and shit i'm like hey yeah bro i'm meeting jesus tomorrow bro so don't talk to me yo they look look don't don't call me don't text me hey, <laughs> it's my time. hey bro like you motivated me from before i start doing youtube you know what i'm saying you motivated me because I've, I've seen you the first video like when you said fuck work you know what i'm saying like yeah. some shit like way back when you were working at the, uh, I think you were working at um, the nursing, I think it was a nursing home or, or so. Mm -hmm. And you made a video and then like, and I'm like, bro, who is this dude? You know what I'm saying? He's cool as hell. And I was, I was like younger then and I kept following. And then I remember the, um, I remember begging my mom for like 10 or $15 to buy like you, when you did the King of the Web shit and everything. Yeah. I remember begging my mom like, hey mom, we got to support this dude. And I showed her the video. <laughs> and she was like, oh, yeah, he's a nice young man. Yeah, yeah, here's the money. Yeah. And I'm just like, I'm just like, bro, I can't believe that, you know, I'm finally, you know what I'm saying, actually getting a yeah. chance to even chat with you, man. That's crazy. Okay, yo, when I when I hear stories like that, yo, it's just, it, this, this is, that's why I, I make it my business to do stuff like this, yo, because it's a humbling experience to hear people's stories and I, I y'all got memories of me that I wasn't even a part of yo so to hear <laughs> the type of influence you can have on a person's life yo that's powerful to me yo so I like I like to hear and, and to have these types of conversations because we both grow from them you know what I mean right. it's not as 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 starstruck as you may feel and, and everything else I get the same value from the conversation as anybody that I talk to. And I don't think a lot of people realize that, yo. So I always make it my duty to to reinforce that and let you know that this is your whole reaction, everything. That stuff like that make me it, it makes me realize that, you know, I'm on the right track and I need to just keep going and stay focused on everything that I'm out here doing, yeah. <laughs> it's bro, you the king, bro. I swear like I did like all right, so all right, so you we, we know we know what happened, right? You we understand mm -hmm. that you know, you went through a lot of tragic things in your life and it shaped your view of, of everything. This is this is my timeline and I feel like I want to share it with you. It's yeah. just like, literally, I was like, okay, you were posting videos, you had posted a scary video and I was like, all right, cool. And I'm like, all right, you know, I hadn't seen my boy in a month. What's going yeah. on? I ain't seen my boy in two months, three months, four months. And then like, I would check on your page periodically, like from time to time. And I'm like, man, what's going on? And I, I got, I kind of got worried. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. like, what's going on? And I had, had a feeling like, man, you know, something ain't right. You know, because people don't take a hiatus like that. And then when you mm -hmm. post, I remember when you post, um, like that, that when you just first came back 
to YouTube and like you because you had the big story to tell and then I remember you posting the video and it was like I don't know what the fuck I was doing but like you it's like you know, like Homer Simpson when uh, when, uh, the, when 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 the shit came on and he dropped the uranium piece and he got he ran. Away, you know what I'm saying? Fuck everything. <laughs> fuck the shit. And I watched it and like, bro, like I legit watched it and I have never cried before. I got my son in the background. He's okay. Nah, that's all good. He cool. <laughs> I had never like said and cried before. I'm like, damn, like that was some really powerful stuff and and I I, I could see like even the progression of you like getting back onto YouTube and then like it was funny because all the videos that I've done have been based off of shit that you've done like the cuts that I do the splicing skipping <laughs> never that's so like, cool that's why you know, stuff like that's why I take what I do now so serious because I never when I, I, I a lot of people don't realize this either when I first started making videos I was just making videos. I didn't, I never thought that it would turn into what it is right now. And because I never had any, any clear goal or intent behind what I was doing, I didn't know what I wanted from it. So when I saw the views going up, it was just numbers on the screen to me. One of my homeboys, he was the one that really put me on. He said, yo, you, you don't know how far your reach goes. Yo, one view on a video could be six niggas in the room gather around a, a computer screen yo Thanks. i was like damn yeah i never i never thought about it like that yo because i was just i was just relating it to numbers yo right. and i never knew like the impact that you could have on a person and it made me understand why people feel like they know me because from my perspective i'm just posting videos but from from the audience standpoint it's a story they're watching the growth and the progression and i never this shit that i never realized that's so right. simple but because like I said, I never meant to become this person. Of course, I wasn't paying attention to it. So I was just out here aimless, yo. Fuck, aimlessly making decisions, <laughs> nigga. I had to fucking, I had to change my life, yo, and fix my shit. I really didn't have a choice, yo. Or it was going to keep getting worse. That's just the way it go. Uh, bro, you know what? I'm so happy that you brought back the skits, bro. Like, when I saw, when I saw Luigi come back and Mario <laughs> come back. But then, like, I wanted to, like, talk about that a little bit, too, and break yeah. that down. Because when I was watching it, I was like, like Luigi and Mario has almost become the person that you've grown into. And you're almost like projecting your life of what yeah. it is now on these characters. Like they have evolved. Is that kind of? Mm -hmm. Is that kind that's, of? That's exactly what it is. Because in order for me to stay, to stay uh, pure to what I've created... Because I never, even with the, the fucking brotherly love shit, yo, it's, it's crazy you bring this up. Yeah. Because I was on Facebook uh, some sometime last week, maybe. And you know how they do the memories. Yeah. They, your memories would pop up. And it was the brotherly love video. Yeah. And I just posted a screenshot. Yo, that shit had 19 likes and like seven comments. And it was new video coming at eight. And I was just looking at this picture. I'm like, yo, I even me, yo, niggas don't even know what this is about to do. <laughs> when I hit when I hit the button at eight o'clock, yo, niggas really don't know what this shit is about to do. And I was holding my phone in my hand, just looking at that shit like, wow, yo. Had had I been conscious, had I been prepared, had I understood, and that been my 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 intent for it to blow up, yo, I could have I could have moved just so differently in my life, yo. But I was just Making videos because it was fun to make videos, yo. So now that I'm I'm at this stage in my life and I'm I'm thinking about because YouTube is some in some some way, form or fashion, because I've been doing it so long, it's still gonna be a part of me right. some type of way. So in order for me to do it and still have fun with it, I have to figure out how to do it and and it still be the truth. I don't feel right. like I'm being phony or watering myself down. And that's exactly what it is, yo. The the, the people that Mario and Luigi evolved into is really based off of who I am right now, but having that that brotherly love platform allows me to express myself right. and the thoughts through these characters. So when people see it through a character, it's it's like watching a cartoon. You know, when 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 you watching South Park and Cartman saying some wild shit, you relating it to Cartman. You're right. not relating it to the nigga in in the booth behind the microphone with some headphones on. Right. You know what I'm saying? So when I when I think about Mario and Luigi, that's my my Cartman and my Family Guy and shit. I can I can say the shit that I really want to say in that creative form, and it still be the truth about who I am and what I feel. 
Man, what what made you what made you do Mario and Luigi? They they two iconic characters, bro. What you mean you in the beginning or uh, how did it all, it all start? Yeah, like so, all started. Like, go ahead, go ahead. So in, in the beginning, uh, it, it all starts as just an idea. Yeah, I just had an idea for something, and I it, it always starts off as me thinking it's funny. It'll be an idea in my head, and I'll think about it so much. When it's st- when I think about it to the point where it makes too much sense for me not to do it, right. then now I feel like I'm wasting time because I'm not doing it. Right. You're not doing it. You're not doing it. So now it it feels like the clock ticking, and before I can move on to anything else, I got to get this first shit out my head. It's I tell people it's like having a song stuck in your head, and that's all you can hear. That's all you think about, and it won't go away until you do something with it. So Mario and the brotherly love in the beginning was that. I didn't think about making a part to you. I didn't even know what part one was going to do. Right. I didn't think about none of that other shit. I just wanted to make the video so I could get it out of my head. And then after I made the video and I started to get traction on it, I never thought about a part two until I was in the comment section and niggas started asking for a part two. Oh, yeah. And then <laughs> I, you make part two, of course. It, it, I figured out it's never it never stopped. Yo, when part yeah. fucking eighty five coming out, yo, eighty four was the shit, nigga. When eighty five coming out, so, <laughs> so it's, hey, it's look, a never I'm, ending I'm cycle of that. Yo. I'm niggas, you hear me? I'm in a hey, hey, look, I just got done watching it. Hey, so when part two coming out, damn, nigga, this is took me how long to make this shit? <laughs> then after after I, uh, I finished part part uh, two, what was that? No, part three. Yeah, part three. I thought I was done with it, yo. I really, I really thought I was finished with the project. I don't ever work on things until I have a, a clear idea for it. Right. And when I have an idea for something, because I thought I was done with it the last time, then the challenge was, all right, how do I do it and make it make sense? Right. When when I made the connection, it's this is Mario and Luigi world. What makes sense in Mario and Luigi world? The shit just started flowing, nigga. And it just <laughs> and one, once it starts flowing, the I it's all, the story just start to write itself. I just gotta make it make sense. As long as it makes sense to me, and then when I watch it, f- first it gotta make sense, the whole storyline and, and anything that I'm trying to tell, whether it be art, music, whatever it is, it just gotta make sense. Right. I know it's good when I watch it or I listen to it and I forget this me. <laughs> I forget I'm, I'm I forget I'm the person I'm looking at. I forget I'm the person I'm listening to. When I forget, that's how I know it. All right, you gotta put this shit out. This shit happened. Yeah, <laughs> you gotta man. put this out. <laughs> man, so that's, know, that's what, it's just it's just a constant a constant uh, uh, phase of just trying to impress yourself, basically. Right. So if I don't believe it, nobody else going to. And I'm the nigga that made it, so I gotta believe it first before I put it out. Right. It's crazy. It's only been two people. So I'm from St. Louis, Missouri. Two people doing music. I'm a music artist, and I started doing the YouTube to kind of like promote my music. But then, you know, I started doing a lot of reactions and vlogs and stuff like that. Yeah. So I'm on that tip. And then, like, I did one video that kind of blew up, and it got like 150,000 views. And like that was been my highlight video. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And that kind of got me my subscribers. But ever since then, I had I I met a, quite a few celebrities. But I've never really been this starstruck, cause you just don't, you don't Damn. understand, bro. Like, like literally, the calisthenics. I didn't know shit about calisthenics until you started the calisthenics channel, like That's the first. Wow, time. yo, for real. Like no, for real. Like I'm like, what the? I couldn't even spell calisthenics. Like you know what yeah. I'm saying? Until like, Nigga, I still up. can't. So don't feel bad. <laughs> I still can't either, bro. <laughs> I still can't. Either. It's like red, like red pill content. I wasn't on that until I started talking with you, you know, or I started Dang. watching with you. And then uh-huh. calisthenics, the videos. I wasn't doing videos when I first saw you. And then years later, I got into, like, I got, like, um, Sony Vegas. And I started mm-hmm. kind of cutting and chopping it up. But, like, people be like, you know, like, oh, man, I like your shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it's, it's really polished. It's really nice. Now I'm like, man, I got to. I got to, like, thank you for that because, like, I would see how it was done. Like, you know, like how you would finish a thought, then you'll switch it. Then you'll change the camera angle. It'll be up here. Then it'll be down here. Then it'll be to mm-hmm. the side. And I didn't I didn't think about audi- audience retention at that point. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm just like, Jesus Christ, bro. I have not <laughs> met another YouTuber that can tell a story like that, you know. 
I know about the brand shit. Like I feel like I was there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, and you know when when you talk a lot, a lot of that comes from like the, these genius camera angles and shit people got. Yo, a lot of that come from fuck yo. That, it ain't enough light over here, nigga. Let me set the camera this way. <laughs> but that's where it really comes from, yo. And then being frustrated, you done delivered all these lines, and then you go back and look at it. That bit that whole shit out of focus, and you like yo, this just frustration, and right. that's that. But that keep. When you when you keep doing things over and over again and you start getting that deep into yourself, it gets to a point where you know you got to get it done or it's all you want to think about. Right. And the little mistakes that happen, this shit, this is your fault right now. Yo, you ain't got no production. You ain't got no team. <laughs> if that shit out of focus is because you didn't make sure it was in focus. So it's like really rubbing your head and going, all right, yo, let me chill out and calm down, get my shit together <laughs> and do it again, yo. Do it again. Stuff like that made me realize you somebody like michael jackson wasn't michael jackson because he he was like the fucking a gift from god yo he was michael jackson because he had a father named joe that beat his ass until he got it right yo shit like that is what make people who they become yo of course the message could have been delivered a lot differently but just that that repetition and do it again do it again do it again when you when you create you get so deep into that it becomes what you know so that's really what what it is, yo. I just is you reach a level of frustration where you keep going until you get it right, yo. <laughs> right. Or you're not gonna move on to the next step because you're real with yourself. And if you don't like it, if it don't look good, it don't matter with the audience because the audience really not gonna know the difference. But when you watch it, you are gonna see it. So you gotta fix that. It's gonna fucking it's gonna annoy you, yo. It's yeah. like it's a piece of hair being in your face all the time or some shit. <laughs> maybe. So what's your creative process like, bro? Like what's how do you, how do you like how do you think of like okay this is what I want to do um, and then and then do it because my mind is so all over the place. Anytime that I release a project, no matter what, I'll, I only work on one thing at a time. Right. So, but I'll be thinking about a whole bunch of shit. Right. And because I'm thinking about a whole bunch of stuff, I still like I still feel like I'm working on it. So I can focus on the one thing that I'm doing. So if I'm doing art this week or if I'm doing a a video this week, I'm sitting in front of the camera. Those that'll be the only thing that I'm focused on while I'm doing it. And anything that I'm doing is always based off of how I really feel in the moment. I may have some type of plan as far as knowing this week I want to drop art. Next week I want to drop music. The week after that I want to drop a video. But I'll never know what those things are going to be about. I'll never know what those things are. I just know. That's that's what I need to do next. Setting deadlines for myself and really, really treating me like I'm in school. Yo. That's what it's really about. Yo. Right. I treat it like I'm in college and you paid a whole bunch of money to be here, nigga. Don't flunk. Right, <laughs> don't right. flunk or you, you lose your scholarship. Everything go away. Yo. Don't flunk. And that's what I think about. Yo. So when I put that type of pressure on myself and treat it like I'm in a, a, a university that I fought real hard to get into. And this is your shot. This is your chance. Don't do nothing stupid. Thinking about situations like that in that way made me cut out all the distractions and shit in my life. Right. Not hanging around certain people, places and things and realizing all this time that I felt like I didn't have. I actually had, but I was just spending it on the wrong shit. Re- realigning my focus and, and staying in tune with the reason I'm doing this shit in the first place. Right. Is really what kept me on track and, and still keeps me on track. So I keep going and don't lose sight of anything. Man, you know what? That I, I'm really glad that you said that. That's such a that's such a um, an intellectual way to put it because you know a lot of times you know people see us. Come, I would say content creators. You could say you know, yeah. and they would think that like oh you know they don't really do much. But you know, to be honest with you. You, you got to think of the idea. You got to execute it perfectly. Then you got to edit. You know, I'm, I'm just saying this for the people in the back. You already know yeah. this. You were doing this shit before I was. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, people don't understand. Like, you know, like, if I tell somebody, oh, yeah, I'm, I, I make music. You know what I'm saying? They be like, oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody. Yeah, they don't understand. I, you know, I'm, I'm, I have to make this. <laughs> like, yeah. I have to make this. <laughs> it's facts. And you know what I'm saying? And I'm just like, you know, it's really interesting because, like, you know, like, we, we talk a lot about, like, celebrities that, like, are in the limelight. Like, I, like I'll like bring up one, like Soldier Boy. You know, he, mm-hmm. he talks a lot about, hey, I'm first, I'm first, I'm first, I'm first. But you know what? I have to say, um, when it comes to black creators, like, like 
you it was a handful of y'all that were yeah. like that pushed the whole fucking movement in YouTube. And I don't even fucking I'm like I know I'm like I know he knows, but does he fucking know, bro? Like But you know and, and but I really don't, yo, because that's what I'm saying. Because my intent for getting into it was different. Yeah. I was just posting videos because I ain't have shit else to do and I felt I really felt like I really felt like my life was going nowhere, nigga, but I still didn't I didn't realize it yet. And but that's how I felt. And working all these jobs and YouTube it started off as watching videos on YouTube. Right. I, I, it was a, it was just variety chat. It, YouTube was it wasn't brand new, but it still wasn't that thing that go to thing like how it is now. So back when I found YouTube, I was still just browsing, and when I ran out of stuff to watch because n- nothing else interests me anymore, I said, "Well, I'm gonna just start making videos and make the type of content that I would want to see if I was still searching for stuff." But I wasn't. I, I didn't think it would go anywhere. I was just doing it because it was fun, and then it became something to look forward to every day. Because, like I said, I didn't have anything else. So that was my my video games at the end of a, a work shift, so I can go home and make a video. Yo, I remember. I remember when I well, I when I first got started. Yo, I would I would make a video and post it and just watch it over and over. Like I'm watching my kid or something. Yo, I just watch it over and over again. Like yo, that shit. I'm really making videos. Yo. <laughs> That's how I would watch myself. And then, you know, that that was the addiction at first, just right. seeing me on camera doing something. Then you see the numbers go up. First time I saw 100, nigga, 100 views, I was like, oh, my God, yeah, I'm big time. <laughs> I'm big time, nigga. I got 100 views out this bitch. 100 niggas care. And probably like 20 of them bitches probably came from me. But, right. yo, the rest of them, yo, that's, that's 80 people that care about the shit that I'm putting out. Now, you know, I, I think about the stories that I hear when, when I talk to you and I talk to anybody else that I, I meet randomly when I'm just at Walmart. Yo, I run a nigga at Walmart. Niggas be like, yo, why are you at Walmart? <laughs> Where I'm supposed to be, yo? Hey. Where I'm supposed to be? What I'm supposed to be doing right now? Hey, nigga, we and, need to uh, protect you. You're a God-level <laughs> shit, bro. We got to protect. The black community got to protect you, nigga. <laughs> so, you know, I just... I. A, a, a big part of my change in life is just been focused on the direction that I want to go in now because I had none before. Right. You know what I mean? So that's what's keeping me grounded, yo. And making sure, like I said, I always do things like this to stay connected with people. You right. know what I mean? Because I know everybody not going to be able to get this opportunity to speak to me, you know, especially with the world being the way it is, fucking COVID and shit. Oh, yeah. Everybody not going to have these. Even my fans, they be hitting me up sometimes. You're like, Oh, you know, man, I, it's cool to meet you. I'm like, nah, it's cool to meet you. And then I'll be yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> and then I'll be hit, and then I'll talk to someone like you. I'm like, this man, like you say something that you say something right now, and you you didn't even realize it because you just explaining your life. But you just mm-hmm. said it was a point in time that you had a hundred views that you were happy at. Let me let me tell you the perception of people who don't actually uh, talk to you on a daily basis, right? This guy's a millionaire, obviously. <clears throat> You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> the second thing is like, bro, he's so far up in a in a, in a in a sphere that it's like it's like talking to Kanye West or talking to you know what I'm saying, bro? Yeah, <clears throat> when you were making videos and you was just like when you were saying something about pussy and yada yada yada, I'm like yeah. I'm like yo, I know I know it seems like it's just it's pussy to you, you know, just talking you know just talking shit. But I'm like, bro, to me, bro. That shit was like when I get off, I'll be frustrated at the end of the day and I come and watch that shit. Mm -hmm. That shit would connect with me so much. And I'm like, I know, bro, it's tired of like, you know, I know you want to grow as a person. And I, you you never should be a slave to your fans. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Never should Mm -hmm. be a slave to me and what I want because you have to grow in your life. So I was, I'm I'm 100% supporting you wherever you want to go. We support you. We love you, bro. Regardless, if you... If you want to do one thing or you want to do another, those videos where you talking about stuff that happened in your life, they ain't just pussy videos. They ain't just mm-hmm. red pill content. Like, we really legit, like, connect with it because we ain't never had somebody on YouTube that said something that I felt. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It yeah. was about, like, like damn, this, this dude is the shit. That's how yeah. I feel, like, when it comes to you. I'm like, damn, this dude, he don't even, I don't even know if he knows. Like, when you came uh, back. Yep. Go ahead, go I'm ahead, I'm, com- I'm completely unaware sometimes, yeah. <laughs> I swear, I mean, like when when people say it, it, it's a meme that I see go around. Um, I'll, I'll never, never retweet it, it, but I always see it all the time. It says, uh, it was a, it's, a "It's a picture, picture of me 
And it says, respect this man. He, if it weren't for him, uh, I, Instagram and Vine comedians wouldn't exist or something like that. I see it all the time, yo, and, and, and I see it and I go, wow, yo, that shit wasn't even, I ain't even getting it for that reason, yo. I didn't, that's why I'm, I'm unaware, yo. So when I when I look at somebody like Soldier Winner, I'm the first nigga. I, I look, I think about myself like, yo, imagine if I was that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the first nigga that was out here doing yo that shit. That shit is funny, but I see it all the time. I re- I'm really unaware of it though, yo. I, if that's what people say, that's what people say. I'm gonna roll with it. Wow, bro. What? I I feel like I got so much to ask you, and then every yeah, go ahead. Um, <laughs> it's, but it says it's, it's just drawing blank because it's like I'm. You know when you get in that starstruck moment, you just can't wait. Like I spent half this half the video talking to talking to you about. Hey, bro, I remember I seen you do this video. <laughs> like, yeah, nigga, I know I made it, bro. You know, hey, bro, you remember when you did the naughty or nice and shit? You be like, yeah, nigga, I made the shit, bro. You know. My 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 biggest tip, not not losing sight of the reason you start in the first place, and that. That can translate into anything that you do, you know, whether it be YouTube, a business, a relationship. Staying focused on the reason why you got into it in the first place, because it's going to get hard. That shit going to suck. It's not going to make sense sometimes. And when when those things happen, those are going to be the moments that you're going to want to stop and you're going to want to quit. That's why I say you got to care about it. You, know, you got to care about it and you have to stay focused on the reason that you got into it in the first place because your reasoning behind it is literally what's going to drive you forward to pursue that you know, because you should be you should be so so drunk with that idea that you can you can make this work if, as long if I, if I can get past this part, I'll be good. As long as you, 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 you stay in that mindset because you're focused on the bigger picture, you know what's waiting for you the reward is bigger than the shit that you got to go through to get there. So that would be my biggest tip. If I had to, if I had to say one thing, that would sum up everything. Staying focused on why you, why you started in the first place because in those trying moments, that's that is the only thing that's going to pull you through, remembering what's waiting for you at the end. Right, man. And is that what kept you going? It kept me going, but I didn't realize that was what was keeping me going until I started focusing on that. And then once I started focusing on that, my drive became stronger. Right. That's the way I say that that situation would play that out. Because when before I, you know, I, I was because I was already successful at what I was doing, but I didn't know why I was successful at it. And when if, when I got to break down why, it was it was only because I was consistently posting something that I enjoyed doing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Now, had I been conscious of of becoming hot damn my rock. Thinking about it now, it pro- I probably would have felt in the moments that I feel sometimes like, yo, why this shit so hard? How come this video don't have a million views yet? But because I didn't have any expectation, I didn't know the difference. You know what I mean? So it's it, it in my head, I'm just doing it. I'm just doing it. But had I been conscious, I would have probably been, yo, why the fuck is this taking so long? And realistically, it probably would have took the same amount of time, just my focus and my intent was different. But now that I have clear direction, no matter how much I get done in a day, I'm I'm always gonna feel like I ain't do shit at all because I still because I'm always thinking about the bigger picture. I'm always thinking about how much is left. But when you look back and realize that you've been knocking out chunks and knocking out chunks, you came a long way as long as you keep knocking out these chunks. And at some point, you're gonna finish as long as you don't stop. And when things get hard, you don't allow those situations to stop you. You you use it as fuel and feed off of it to get you to where you need to be faster because it's only going to get worse if you don't fix it. You know what I mean? So that's, and at least that's how it go in my case. Yo. If I don't fix some shit, it's like having a fucking a faucet that won't turn off in the sink clog. If you don't turn this bitch off, it's going, water is going to keep flowing to everywhere. the living room, to the basement, nigga. It's never going to stop you until you fix the leak. So that's how I think about life, yo. Until I fix my leaks in life, shit not going to work out because I'm always going to keep coming up short. Man, you know that's man. That's like I said. That's that shit is crazy that you say that because like, I just like I want to know the process behind it because I'm like, a lot of people don't understand that like in life you are gonna have these shortcomings. You are gonna have like things that like are like okay. Of course, you know you got life that happens. You know like you might have kids. You might have other things and um and tragedies and you know that happen in your life. But you gotta really understand like 
what it is you're passionate about and find that shit early on so that way for the rest of your life, even if you don't make it, you know, and what everybody considers you making it, whatever making it would be, but mm -hmm. you at least have a life of, I did what I was passionate about every single day. But you was, I'm like, this nigga is recording this shit by himself, like, yeah. you know? How, how do you how do you do that? Bro? And you you know you know where that really started, yo. That started from when I I was in the beginning stages. You know when when nobody can see the vision. Even though I wasn't trying to grow it into anything, it was still videos that you know I wanted a nigga to hold the camera in. And nah, yeah, I can't. I'm doing this. And it re that started from everybody not being available. And then me having to think. If you want to get this idea out of your head, figure it out. That became the game. How can you make this work by yourself? Right. And I just had to figure it out or I couldn't move on to the next project. I couldn't move on to the next step. So once I became comfortable with just doing it all myself, it got to a point where all right, I know how I like my shit. I don't want nobody else to touch it because only I can do it. I've, I've gotten it to a point now that all I want to see is myself and how I can make that person on the screen better. Right. And I can't do that with a whole bunch of niggas in my shot. So <laughs> y'all gotta move out the way real quick, yo. So that's what that. That's what that. It it wasn't an intentional thing that I, I was aware of that I was doing. Like I was trying to build that person. Yo, niggas just wasn't available when I needed them. Yo, niggas never there when you need them and shit. But once things start happening, now niggas want to come to you to to Florida for the for this event. And yo, can can I come with you to the show and shit? Now they want to be around when they see shit taking off, yo. But it wasn't like that in the beginning. Want like because you know a lot of people are scared to start. You know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. And like, and a lot of people think that they need a whole bunch of equipment, and a whole bunch of people. Like, but I guess what I want to know from you is like, how do you overcome having friends and family that don't see the vision? How do you overcome that and still do your thing? Like, how do you I just don't tell nobody. <laughs> That's what, I just don't tell nobody shit. When I first started making videos, yo, I told absolutely no one, yo. I ain't tell friends. I ain't tell family. Yo, it was just one of them. You had to find a YouTube video the way I found them, bitch. You had to be <laughs> searching on the internet and come across that shit. The only reason my stuff started blowing up is because one day, I think, I don't know if I, I was logging on to YouTube. Uh -huh. And it asked me that I want to connect my Facebook account to my YouTube account. And you, you just click. Cause it's like reading uh, uh, terms and conditions that you just click OK. And right. So I get this shit out of my face so I can keep going. Right. <laughs> and I just clicked OK. But I didn't know that when you uploaded a video onto your page on YouTube, it would automatically post on your Facebook page. Mm. Had I known that shit, oh, I would have never, yeah, I would have never made that connection because right. it was still in the phase where I, it was something that I was having fun with. Right. I wasn't doing it because I was searching for feedback, and I know that's what I would have got from niggas. That's right. why I ain't tell nobody. It wasn't until I uploaded. I think it was get maybe maybe it was give me the butt cheeks. I think it was one of the early videos, yo. That's crazy. I uploaded that video and then found out it was on my page, and I was like, now I was like, oh shit, that's me. I take this down, and then I'm looking at the comments and the 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 numbers. I'm like, hold up, let me let me look first, and I'm seeing this reaction. I'm like, maybe I should start posting my stuff on here too, and that's where it started, yo. It 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 happened by mistake. And then it just started taking off, you know, and I just, I rolled with it. But even growing up, I never had, I never had anybody to believe in me, but then I wasn't doing anything worth believing in. I wasn't in sports. I wasn't, I wasn't doing anything. So it wasn't, Hey, my son can do it. So <laughs> I wasn't doing anything credible, yo. And because I wasn't doing anything, I also didn't have anybody in my ear telling me I couldn't do shit. Right. So in my head again, you know, I didn't know the difference. It was just if you if you think in something, if you feel in something, put it on camera right. because this became my outlet. And it, it was so many it was so many things that I was doing with myself that was that were good for me, but I didn't realize I was doing it. It was just fun to me. I didn't realize that I I found an outlet for my thoughts and emotions and shit and it was artful i, I wasn't that was just it was a video <laughs> right. making a video you know i never thought they i never thought girls would be flying in from wherever the fuck they fly in for you i never thought this shit would happen yo never thought and because it wasn't something that i worked for it was also something that i didn't appreciate mm -hmm. so I, I was treating it like i didn't appreciate it that's why i had a whole bunch of girls and 
because I'm I'm living in a dream, and my whole thing was let me hurry up and get the most out of it before I wake up. So if I gotta break some hearts and hurt some fear, oh well, nigga, I'm gonna wake up and it's just a dream. They at some point they gonna figure out who I am, yo, and they gonna stop fucking with me. But nigga, when I tell you, yo, I done made some of the prettiest girls in the world shed painful tears, nigga. Once yeah. they figure out you really the nigga from the video, once they figure <laughs> out. Yo, you got how many girls? Yo, when they, yo, it was like it was like watching a child figure out Santa Claus not real. You like hold up, but it's presents under the where the presents come from? Right. And then you, when did you leave and go buy all this shit? Like you've been here, yo. It's so much confusion happening inside of their brain, yo. But I didn't understand that you they're that way because I made them that way in order to get what I wanted from them. Right. But it's like now that you get it. They don't just go away. Now they attach and they want you forever, yo. But and and me getting mad, trying to understand, like, yo, why they so on me? Why can't why you all emotional, nigga? Because you created this chaos, nigga. Uh, and now you mad talking about they want you so bad. Yo, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Man. <laughs> you just like you took ownership of it. Like Yeah, pretty much. That's what it been. Holding yourself accountable and understanding that you're not going to progress in life if you don't fix the shit that's wrong with you first. It's like having a whole bunch of money, but you got a drug problem. When I when I listen to somebody like like Future talk about Molly Percocet and shit, yo, they're not just lyrics to me. Yo, this nigga talking about Molly and Percocet because he really take Molly and Percocet in order to cope with whatever the fuck he's feeling in life. Right. And niggas is popping bottles and dancing to the club to another nigga pain, yo. So it's like, you still confused, yo. This is right. how I really feel, but niggas like it, so let me do more of it. Right. And I'm fucking myself up more. So until you fix the problem, if you got a drug problem and, and more money, you're just going to buy more drugs because you got more uh, of the capital you need to support your habit. You know what right. I'm saying? And that was my biggest problem, yo. I had all these things, but because I didn't work hard for it, and from my perspective, I didn't, I wasn't doing no hard work for it, but I really was. I wasn't was. treating it. I wasn't <laughs> treating it like that. And getting all these fucking rewards and just blowing it, nigga, blowing everything, blowing money, blowing relationships, and then realizing it right now, like where every nigga, we it's it's just me and you right now on right. the phone, nigga, ain't nobody here. You know what I'm saying? It's just again, yo, the world that I created for myself, so I had to take ownership of it and figure out what do I do with it now. Right, man. You know that's crazy that you said that. You know, bringing up a lot of these people because, like, I was I was just like, so I was just um on a. A chat just a, a little bit ago with with my boy uh, Pinku Styles. He's a black man in Japan, and he owns his mm. own um, you know mechanic shop. Damn, that's cool. My man in Japan. Yeah, yeah that nigga is okay. cold, bro. Like, and I've always wanted to go to Japan, and I was thinking Hell myself, yeah. hey, bro. Um, and I was thinking we were talking, and I was like, you know, a lot of people do a lot of things to cope with, you know, things. You know, what I'm saying like, I'm, mm. me being a music artist, like. Like, I would be making music, and sometimes, and I'd be like, you know, I would say some things, and I'm like, bro, you know, I would think about it. I'm like, you know, I'm summoning these things in, in the world. Yeah. And I'm like, damn, that's why when when I thought about that, it was months and months and months before you got back on and you started talking, but I really connected with it. I'm like, no, he's really taking, like you were saying, like responsibility and ownership of the things that you were saying. Because you mm -hmm. almost like casting a spell. Because like I had like this little kid run up to me, and then he was just like, I made a song. It was called Lemon Pie. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I was literally just talking about bitches. You know what I'm saying? The whole song. <laughs> you know. And I was like, This is cool. You know what I'm saying? This is cool. Like this is, and it was a vibe. And then I had this kid, and he was like, Man, I love that song. I love that song. And I was like, That's what's up. And he's like, yeah. yeah, but I just can't. You know, like, I can't listen to it too much because, you know, like, and then he hit me with some shit and I was like, because he was like, I can't listen to it too much because, you know, it's, it is uh, promoting violence. It is promoting negativity. And, you mm -hmm. know, um, I definitely, you know, don't want to have that, like, influence my behavior. And I was just like. Damn, and he's like, but but you're doing great, and he, I'm like, no, yeah, fuck you. But I see it in you. I see it in you. I'm like, don't bring the kick in your chest, bro. Like you just made me think about life, bro. Like it's like, let me ask you a question. So when you when you started blowing up, like did it was it like a Mike uh, Mike Jones? You know, back then they didn't want me. Now I'm high. Like how was it with the females? Yeah, you know, with with the with with females in general, yo, I always been the type of person. I gotta I gotta have some type of 
prior relationship with you or you got to show interest like when i when i think about my life growing up any girl that i was dealing with it was like i i she work at my job uh we got the same class together somebody introduced me to her it was yo i can't yo i can't just walk up cold turkey and just start spitting game yo that's what i all i always admired that about niggas yo when a nigga that can just walk up and just start talking and yo how do you do it like that's just so poetic yo how the fuck do you do that yo and i could i could never i could never figure that out but when it came to youtube world i didn't have to because girls were hitting me up and, and out of all the girls that i dealt with off of the youtube shit yo i can I don't know whether this was just me picking them or just how it played out. I never felt like I was dealing with any girl that wanted me because of my status mm. or wanted me because of, of, of my celebrity and shit. They, they were always genuinely into me, but I was the one not, you know, I was not focused and not paying attention because how could I be with my focus and attention spread out across all these different people? I think about that not being the reason that relationships were, were, were growing right. and when i think about situations in my life you know anything anything that i wanted to do or wanted to accomplish i wasn't getting it done because i wasn't fully committed the way that i wasn't fully committed to anything else so of right. course shit gonna fall apart you know, because you can't anything that you do you can find success in but you're not gonna get it if you keep getting distracted by everything else that's going on around you yo so girls were my biggest pitfall pitfall and i had to make sure this time around that i had that shit under control yo so i don't fuck with nobody like at all nigga man i i feel, I feel that and i and i that's what i wanted to ask you too because you seem like such a a, a loner you know what i'm saying in a, in a mm -hmm. you know in a, obviously respectfully you know in a good way like you just be about your own shit and you be off in your own world and i think yeah. that keeps you you know that's that's another thing that i noticed is that kind of true like you know yeah and you know that yo that's that come from childhood mm -hmm. that comes from even though i grew up in the house with with two mm -hmm. older sisters it was always get out my room oh, so right. <laughs> i had to you know and it wasn't like to be me it's like get out my they doing teenage girl shit yo get out my room you know you right. know what i mean they don't want little baby brother in here touching shit jumping all over stuff right. so i i had i didn't really have a choice but to figure out you something else to do because nobody wanted to play Right. And then when they got old enough to move out, it was just me and my mom for a bit. And then when my stepfather came into the picture, yo, I, I had I figured out real quick how to be with myself because when I turn 18, nigga, it's out. I got to get the fuck out of here, nigga. So I don't, I don't have no time to, to be lonely and right. and not be on my own. Yo, if, if anything, I crave that. I crave the, the the freedom to just be out on my own and explore because I, I guess thinking about th thinking back on it now you, you you have that feeling of you're not wanted anywhere else so let me go let me go create a place that i want to be at since the places that i'm at don't nobody want me here so that that became my focus yo so yeah i definitely definitely developed that loner mentality but that started deep in in childhood yo so it, it took a whole lot of conditioning to become that person me i noticed that everybody can't everybody not comfortable just being with themselves, yo. You, and I would, girls would come to the crib and be like, you don't get lonely, you don't, like, don't nobody else live here? No, yo, it's just me. I, right. I don't need that, yo. I like my silence, yo. I like that shit. If you, like, start blowing up, bro, like, how does it, how does it feel being, like, creating this, this person that, you know, like, you know, obviously you got, it's more of me, you know what I'm saying, that's mm -hmm. fans of you, you know, so how does it feel, though? Like, how does that really feel? to to be in that position i mean it because i'm you, I, I thought about that when i was at my sister's uh 50th birthday party a couple weeks ago and uh they her and my brother-in-law they have a church and i was i was looking i had a moment where I, I i felt that same thing you feeling i was looking at my brother and i was like yeah i remember when you ain't had none of this shit <laughs> and now you you're this person of influence that people really and I, I was wondering the same thing yo what does that feel like but i never thought about it from my perspective you know sometimes i really forget that i am who people see me as in the world you know when i go out it's i'm just myself but when a nigga like i said see me in walmart yo yo what you getting yo what you doing yeah, <laughs> they be they unbelievable they can't believe it yo so right I, it's, it's important to be aware of who you are right. so that you constantly make the right decisions because you know you got eyes on you so you need to constantly be aware of who you are but it it, it 
I also realize how easy it is to get away from yourself. That's why I make it my business to do stuff like this so that I'm always grounded and I, I know how fast shit just slip away, yo. Whether you fuck up or some tragic event happened in life, yo, things things change real quick and this place don't run by no type of rules. You just got to be ready to react and respond right. to the situation and hopefully for your sake, you've built up the, the mental fortitude to get through it because it's not going to be easy no matter what it is, yo, that shit. That's why we all connect to each other as people right. because we, all, we can all relate to the same emotions. The experience to get there may be different but sad still feel like sad. Right. Depressed still feel like it's all, it all feels the same. You know, the only thing that's different is the event that brought you to that conclusion. You know, so. But yeah, I, 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 it's 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 always humbling to have these conversations. Yo, that this is what keeps me grounded. Yo, so I I gotta do stuff like this. <laughs> I'm glad that you did. <laughs> Just letting you know how much I appreciate you, even even viewing me in the light that you view me in. You know, you being comfortable enough to to share your thoughts and emotions with. Uh, somebody like you, like you said, you feel like you know me, but you don't really know me. Right. I understand exactly what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> I understand exactly what you mean. You know? And I just want to the the trust that you have. I can never take this shit for granted, yo. So it is right. appreciated. Bro. Yeah. bro, keep on working hard, bro. Stay focused, bro. You got niggas that's legit watching, and you got you probably raising a generation you don't even fucking know about. And don't even know about, yo. Don't even know. That's why I gotta be conscious in the way, yo. I got to. <laughs> just like how the little kid told you. Yeah, but it's too much violence. <laughs> <laughs> like, so niggas gotta rework their shit, yo. So yeah, man. Yeah, definitely. man. All right, bro. I'm gonna let you go. I ain't gonna take up too much right, of your time, bro. Be All safe. Right, good man. talk, yo. You be safe out here. Till the next time. Five hundred thousand. I promise. All right. All right, man. I'll talk to you soon. <laughs> All right, bro. All right, one. All right.